All right, here's a question that I got. What keeps me from drinking ever again? Um, there's way too many things that I could talk about, right? Things like being educated about the damage that alcohol causes, right? That keeps me from drinking again. Uh, educated about how much of a straitjacket alcohol was and is to live in a life where um, if I wanted to get anywhere near my full potential, I couldn't do if I went back to that lifestyle, right? So I could talk about the expanding lifestyle that you develop for yourself when you finally shake off this uh, straitjacket, right? I could talk about embracing all the great things that life has to offer when you have a clear brain, when you can think straight. I could talk about the massive increase in energy that I've had since stopping putting this crap inside my body. And what about all the time that I'm saving, all the time that I'm creating for myself? Well, look, here's something that has happened big time since I stopped the flow. And I started just full force into doing the work that was necessary for me to get away from alcohol. You know, and this is this happened from for me from uh, second, third month into this journey. I started getting a purpose or purposes. You know, I had many reasons for getting up in the morning. I had read many reasons for enjoying myself and getting up in the morning, right? Um, before we go on, please let me ask you for a small favor. Subscribe to the channel if you like the video and uh, like the content if you like the video also. Um, all right. Just doing these videos, um, learning more and more about human behaviors, uh, about what makes us tick, about habits and mindsets and growth, and learning more about how to go from a position that most of us are in, you know, from a, um, the perspective of having a bad habit and going from that to releasing all that locked up potential right? All that locked up potential that is in all of us, right? That is the thing that I love the most, right? Um, you know, this is, it's something that has become just a part of my life, you know, helping people to see past the, the shite in their life, right? Um, you know, that has become something for me that I, I love getting up in the morning for helping people to see past the alcohol, not just to see past the alcohol drinking per se, but to see way past the fucking alcohol, right? So um, looking at alcohol for what it is, right? Seeing alcohol for what it is, not just the drink that you put into your body and the thing that's going to screw up your your mind, the thing that can give you cirrhosis, the thing that can give you um, alcoholic cardiomyopathy, the thing that can give you wet brain or any of those things, right? Um when I'm talking about way past alcohol, I'm talking about a prison that you've put yourself in, that I put myself in when I was 17, 18 years of age, um, but where the prison door is wide open and all it takes is for you to step through it. You know, helping people to see that that door is there for them to to move through and helping to see uh, people to see what they're, what they're capable of of achieving for themselves to help to see the potential that they've got inside of themselves, regardless of who they are. I can't see this potential. Only, only you can see the potential that's there, regardless of where you're from, regardless of who you are, regardless of how old you are, right? That potential is there and it's waiting for you. You know, I, I don't know what um, it is about helping somebody else right? Even people that you might never see, people that you might never know, right? You know, I, I see certain people and I see names popping up over and over again on the YouTube comments. I read all the comments, by the way. Sometimes I don't get around to responding to them, but I read every one of them. You know, I see full names. I see bits of names. I see sometimes just um, nicknames, but they're all people that have emotions and feelings and um the thinking and trying to figure things out and for me from my perspective at least there's there's just something about helping somebody else uh to stop being a victim to help them to see 
how they can see themselves right to see to help them to see how they can make changes in their own lives and in turn how they can then help somebody else to make a positive change in their own lives do you get what i mean that's it's just something in that that i didn't realize as a drinker right i couldn't give a shit about anyone else right like i said i've said before one of the biggest reasons i stopped was because i wanted my son to stop drinking alcohol my son was 21 right i hadn't thought about that until that stage so that will show you how selfish i'd got uh, in my journey with myself and it was a realization that just racked me for ages you know it took me a long time to get past that um and i don't know if it's because i'm getting older but I just see more and more that we all as individuals need to go through uh, to get to that place, right? To find that place within ourselves, that place of helping somebody else, place of helping ourselves first, right? You know, we all need to to raise our game a little bit. Um, we all need to take responsibility for ourselves, to to toughen up, to commit to what we know is right in our lives right what we were brought up with you know i'm 57 next birthday and you know there's certain things that i was brought up with certain beliefs and morals and you know just values in life that are disappearing really quickly uh, and that's that scares me right because i see where it's going i see where it's drifting um and i, I think it's uh i think it's a fight that you know that we all have to go through right um i think it's a fight that we all have to go through for what we know is right in life you know the world is going in a really strange direction to put it mildly and there's just way too many people who are trying to take the world in the opposite direction uh in the direction that they're trying to encourage people that they don't have the power within themselves to change that um that they should be fucking beholden to somebody else for the things that they get in life that they shouldn't work for things that they shouldn't try and get things that they're you know they're not good enough to do that that they're you know trying to encourage people to hold their hands out in life so that somebody else can give you something and that for me that's demeaning bullshit demeaning bullshit and it's going to take people nowhere good in life um and I think the place to start this uh, is always with yourself. You know, I see so many people trying to change the big things in life, you know, the 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 big quests in life, the environment, uh, you know, all of these big things that people are talking about, things that in general, these people have got no control over whatsoever. And they're shouting and they're screaming about these big things when they haven't got their own shit sorted out. And they know they haven't got their own shit sorted out. They don't want to do this. They don't want to sort out and focus on their own stuff because they know that that takes work and sacrifice, right? It takes hard work and uh, a lot of sacrifice in order to get past that and to, to, to do those things right. So all they can do is shout and scream and tell the world what they think is wrong with the world without offering up any kind of solution. So I don't want to get this into a, a rant. It, it just annoys me, right? Uh, you know, this. I, like I said, I'm I'm scared for. I've got a granddaughter, and I'm scared for her, how the world is going, and you know, it's it's one of the reasons why we changed the channel to have it unplugged. You know, I started out on this journey talking about alcohol, how to help people to overcome the cravings. Uh, the discomfort, socializing without alcohol, relaxing without the booze, all that kind of stuff. But one of the things that I've realized is that alcohol is only a small part of a bigger problem. You know, why are people these days drinking more and more and more? Why they turn into other drugs? I mean, this uh, fentanyl in, in the States is a massive problem. Um, I mean, I don't know how bad it is here. You know, we're in a, a, a fairly isolated part of the world. We're in Andorra, actually, at the moment. So if you're wondering where we are, we came back home um, sort of a week ago. So we're back home now, hence why I'm in the office and haven't been out yet walking in the mountains. Um, but, you know, there's, there are just so many problems in life. And because there, 
I think a huge amount of these problems are manufactured by other people in order to strike fear or to move us in a direction that they want us to go. And most of these problems that we focus our, our minds on are diversions. They're diversionary. You know, they divert our minds away from the things that we need to focus our minds on, which uh, is our problems, our personal problems. You know, I think if everyone sorted out their own problems, imagine what a world it would be, you know, and that's where I always try, you know, we set up this channel to try and encourage people to start there, to start trying to change their own habits. That's where I'm starting. I've got so much more work to do in my own life. You know, believe me, I'm not the finished article by any stretch of the imagination. You know, there's a lot of work that I have to do, um, both physically, mentally. But that's the the joy of trying to live that best possible version of yourself, get to that best possible life that you can live. It's an ongoing process. So that's where my thinking has gone over the last few years. It's where the, the channel has started to go uh, in my videos recently. And certainly within our program and uh, you know if you don't sort out the underlying problems you've got no chance no opportunity of sorting out th the method that you use to mask these problems right and I'm, I'm talking about alcohol or whatever it is that you're using to hide away from the problems to escape from these things so it's not just about dealing with the problems as well it's about dealing with the the way that you think about these problems right you know that's just as important as doing that so you know we're, we're going to keep keep plugging away at that um if you're ready to embrace a healthier happier and uh i think just a fantastic lifestyle and you're drinking and you want to stop drinking alcohol then we've got a free course it's called the beginner's guide to getting and staying sober um you know we i try and teach as many good strategies as i can we, we're it's a short course. It's not too long, but there's videos, there's audios of the same uh, stuff, same material, and there's PDFs and quizzes to keep you going. So um, we're really trying to get you to step over that line to stop drinking alcohol, to start on this journey, but more importantly, to to continue and to try and build a life where you don't want to go back to that, you know, when you're, you're sorted out enough in yourself that you don't need to go back to that old life. So it's a great course to get you started if you want to um, click on the link down below this video. And again, uh, please subscribe to the channel. Um, so uh, just before we end, you know, I just want to say what what keeps me from ever drinking again. That was the question that I started out with. Um, I've changed a lot of my underlying thinking. And by a process of elimination, by a process of... <laughs> pain and pleasure you know trying to reward myself with certain things in order to pull myself forwards and trying to give myself a kick up the arse as well right uh i've been kind of fixing some of my underlying problems and mindsets and thinking patterns and behaviors and habits and all the rest of that stuff that has uh, that kept me drinking or kept me in that mindset in the first place and there's there's a natural way of growing, right? A natural way of maturing in your life, right? Of living your life in a better way, of discovering the things about yourself that can help you to gain perspective and to help you to, to see your, your mind through a different focus, uh, focusing on what you're good at, developing what you're good at, developing your thinking, developing yourself as a person. And there are some things in life that are going to help you uh to reach that goal. And there are some things in life that are going to do exactly the opposite. And alcohol, any other drug, these are things that are going to suck away your time and energy in such a pervasive fashion. You know, it happens very slowly. It happens um, bit by bit, but the results, they tend to pile on top of each other and the consequences all mount up. So, before you know it, all of a sudden, you're so far behind what you could have been. And you wonder to yourself, how the hell did I get here? You know, and a, a big thing I use on myself a lot is what would my 18 year old self think about the person that I've become, right? If I was stood right now in front of that young kid, um, the young version of myself, and I can see him, right? 
I, I can still sort of get into that head and see what I would be thinking. And I was explaining to that young face, what would he think about what I'm about to do or what I've just done? What would he think about those 30 years of drinking that I did and all those opportunities that I wasted? And if I was stood in front of that guy, would I be able to hold my head up high or would I be able to even look that young lad into the eyes and, you know, have any pride in myself at all? And, you know, I can tell you that some of the things that I've done in my past, there's no fucking chance that I would be able to do that. Some of the things that I've done in the last 10 years, that's a different story. That is recouping some of that um, pride in myself, if you like. So I think once you discover that about yourself, once you discover that alcohol was like a handbrake in a car holding you back, stopping you over all those years, from getting to the places that you wanted to go, holding you back. Um, it's, I think stopping drinking alcohol is like releasing that handbrake. It's like giving you a supercharged gas pedal that you can press, that you're opening up so much potential for yourself. Um, and I think if you were in that position, I'm 10 years into this now, a decade of not drinking. And I've, as I said, I've slowly through trial and error um, built something different in myself, something much happier, uh, much more contented and much more um, progressive in my own life, right? Um, more heading towards the potential. And if you were in my position, anyone who's in my position, anyone who's beyond that position, they would never go back to drinking alcohol. Why would you ever do that? So the best mental picture I can give you about this, do you remember? I don't know if you're old enough for this. I'm an old guy, so um, I remember this. Uh, there's an old movie made in 1939. I wasn't born then, but um, I watched this movie when I was a kid. It was called The Wizard of Oz. And it's the first movie, The Wizard of Oz, with uh, Dorothy was Judy Garland. And there's a scene towards the end of that movie, and Dorothy has this little dog called Toto. It's a little terrier or something. And this is big, scary Seen with the great Oz on this his huge face. And the dog goes over and pulls back this curtain. And as the dog pulls back the curtain, you see this little old man behind this curtain pulling these levers and pushing this button. Uh, and, and once you see that, once that's uncovered, you realize that this is the great Oz, the so-called great Oz. And you realize that he's not so great after all. And it's the same thing that happens here. Once you pull back that curtain on your own life and you start to understand um, the levers and the buttons that are being pressed behind the scenes, you, you start to see that it's only a delusion and there's no going back. Once you see that, you can't unsee it. So I'll leave you that with that thought. Take care of yourself. Uh, click the subscribe button, like the video, get the course down below if you want it, and take care of yourself. Onwards and upwards. Have a great one.